everyone! Welcome to Bo Strolls Around channel and today I'll be doing dorm tours around Copenhagen. Okay, before we start, let me give you a brief background of who I am and why am I doing this. So basically, I right now, I am an exchange student in Copenhagen Business School. But before I came here, I found it really difficult, you know, to choose between different dorms. So I went to the website, I knew that there, there, there are six dorms in total, but I don't know what's the difference. And I feel, I felt like looking, looking through the pictures, reading through the information on the website wasn't enough for me. At the time, I wish there was a video that could, you know, show me all the dorms so that I can make a decision based on that. So, for your information, these are the six main dorms that are coordinated with CBES, and in this video, I'll be showing you four of the dorms. And at the end, I'll summarize the key advantages and disadvantages of each place. Let's start with the first one, Catherine, which is the dorm where I stayed. So now we're in the area of Catherine. As you can see, there is a parking lot for you where you can park your bike and also your cars. But of course, we don't have cars, so to park our bike. And this is the dorm. And yes, I think it's time for the room tour. Um, my room is on the first floor. It is a single room, usually ranging in size from 15 to 22 square meters. There are also shared room available as well, which are larger than my room. Um, in this room, we get our own little kitchen, complete with utensils, fridge, and stove. However, I don't know if you can see it, but I think it's pretty old. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's a cupboard to stash your stuff. And right next to the kitchen, you'll find the wardrobe. And lastly, here's the bathroom, which is kind of small. And a quick glimpse of the view from my window. Now, let me show you guys around the common areas. So now I'm gonna take you down to the basement where we exchange students will do laundry. It's kind of quiet and cold down here, but whatever. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that in the basement, there's actually, you know, common areas where students can come and hang out with each other. And usually before we go out and party, we would do like pre-drinks here as well. And yeah, this is the laundry room. There are three washing machines and three dryers. Um, to use them, you need to pay by adding money to the tag which will be given to you when you get your room. And the final area to explore is the common kitchen. This is where you'll find more stuff like extra appliances, ovens, a shared fridge, and a dishwasher. I love that. It's a fantastic place for people to cook together and have a good time. But the thing is that it gets pretty crowded since there's only one kitchen for the whole dorm. Hi again everyone! Right now we're in Tietgen dorm, which is actually considered to be one of the most beautiful dorms in Copenhagen! And yes, finally I'm here after four months in Denmark. And by the way, my voice might sound a little bit weird or I might sound sick, but actually it's just because I went to Disneyland and I screamed too much. But okay, that's not the important part. The important part is that we're here! So today I'm just gonna show you around Tietgen dorm. This dorm is actually the furthest dorm from CBS. I think it would take about 30 to 40 minutes by bike or 20 minutes by metro. And the reason is that it's mainly for Copenhagen University students, not really for Copenhagen Business School. And most students here are locals. But apart from this, this dorm is absolutely beautiful and has the best vibe. Today, my friend Idy is going to show us around the dorm. So let's start with the bedroom like always. Hi, and now we're finally in front of Idy's room. So Idy, would you mind showing us your room? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is a single room with a private bathroom inside. There's a closet and study table. Although there is no private kitchen in this room, but there are multiple common kitchens on each floor, so it's pretty convenient. And the room is very cozy, 
And lastly, here's a glimpse of the bathroom. Next, let me show you guys the common areas and the facilities provided. First area, I would call it like a living room, kind of, which has a really nice view. There's also a common kitchen, as I mentioned, with full appliances. Some students would sometimes buy spices or specific ingredients together and share them among themselves. And one thing that surprised me is the beer fridge, which is, as its name suggests, a fridge full of alcohol. I heard from my friend that Tianjin is like a party dorm, so if anyone loves partying, this is the dorm for you. And as you can see right now, I'm sitting in the middle of Tianjin. This is like the common area where all students can just come and relax. And honestly, with this weather, 20 degrees with sunlight and wind, who wouldn't want to be here? So yeah, I think this is like the highlight of this dorm. And yes, there is more. There is also a study room on the ground floor, a small gym, and a music room with a piano. And lastly, the laundry rooms. I didn't count how many washers and dryers are there, but I know that there are a lot. And if anyone is staying here, I really recommend you to try this ice cream shop because I love it. And here we are at Nimbus Park. This dorm is actually very close to CBS. I think it would take you like 45 minutes to ride a bike from here to the university. In terms of location wise, I would give it 10 out of 10. It's close to the metro, close to the university. There's a grocery store, Netto, across the street. And underneath the dorm, there is a cafe, Cafe Oha. Now let's wait for my friend, Pipan, to take us upstairs and show us around Nimbus Park. Hi, welcome to Nimbus. By the way, I just want to mention that Nimbus Park is exclusively for graduate students. So if you're not a grad student, then this dorm is out of the question. And here we have the bedroom. As you may recall, the amenities provided in Nimbus are pretty similar to Tijin, and neither of them have a private kitchen. However, I think Nimbus' room is much smaller. And in here you'll find a study table, bed, closet, and a private bathroom. You are so tidy! The bathroom here looks kind of like the one in Catherine, but newer, I think. Now, let's take a look at the common and kitchen. Now we have like almost everything. You know, like the pan, like everything that you need. Wow. Yes. Also do some bakery here. Wow. And we, we also share like some stuff like seasoning together. And it, it quite nice. Yeah. And also we also have one cool thing about having a common kitchen is that it gives you a chance to hang out with friends while cooking. It's perfect if you enjoy socializing. But if that's not your thing, then I wouldn't recommend it. And here are some views around the dorm. Lastly, there's a laundry room and plenty of bike parking areas. And yeah, that's it for Nimbus Park. And for the last part of this video, I'll be taking you guys to a dorm called PH. And for your information, this is the full name of PH. But honestly, I wouldn't even dare to attempt pronouncing it. This dorm is right next to one of the CBS campuses, although not the main one. And they've got a bike parking lot too, which is a must have in Denmark, right? Anyway, let's head to the room. 
In PH, everyone gets their own single room, but you gotta share the bathroom with someone else. Inside the room, you'll find a table, bed, and a private kitchen complete with fridge and microwave. But here's the kicker. There's no common kitchen in this place. And yeah, the bathroom here is pretty tiny too. And this is the common area. I think it's way too small considering the number of students living here. And beside this, there's a meeting room where students can reserve it for their use. Last but not least, we've got the laundry rooms. And that's it for the dorm tours. As promised, here's the matrix summarizing different aspects of the dorm. Again, this is based completely on my opinion. I hope this video is helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you!